Don't take it personal, but I ain't lying. I ain't hiding, I've been grinding, multiplying. I've been trying to get my weight up, staying prayed up, meditating and taking time away. Hello! Welcome back. Just packing up another load of <laughs> miscellaneous items. Just boxing up. Whoa, excuse you. Yeah, just trying to take as many of the random... You know how much crap you accumulate over time? When you live in a home for two years or longer... No! no! Yeah, you, you get a lot of stuff. We're bringing our frames over this round. We've got so many frames from all of our... Well, miscellaneous galleries that we've had. <laughs> oh my. So we're just gonna pack this up, get real sweaty, take another load over, and we'll continue once we're back at the new place and we'll just whoosh you on over there. Mm -hmm. We're back. <laughs> Welcome to the crib. Uh, this is the state we've got going on right now, guys. Still haven't returned that. We just brought a whole other load miscellaneous clothing we unloaded all of our coats downstairs we need to tackle that there's a pillow <laughs> this is like uh there was so much labor that went into this but i think we're having second thoughts we'll see we'll keep you guys updated um but i think honestly like the colors throwing us off a little bit it was a little bit more gray than we expected when we were looking at it online so i don't know what we're gonna do we're already returning one giant piece we'll see we'll keep you guys updated with what we do in here but we mapped out the couch we officially set the day with the movers we still got a bit to go but other than that like literally this load we just brought miscellaneous kitchen stuff we brought our booze that's important um, this one's really cute. There's like a few bottles that I just never want to open. Like this one Anna brought um, when she came to visit us for her book tour. That was really exciting and we've never opened it. Like, I don't know. She brought it all the way from Brighton. Do I ever open this? Like this is such a beautiful bottle. I feel like I just have to keep it on display. This one was really cool. This we got um, at Sundance from Kate Somerville. Look how beautiful this bottle is. I'm like, I'm never opening this. Unless there's an expiry date. Is there an expiry date for champagne? I don't know. Anyway, so special bottles like this we have on display here. Brought our placemats because we're actually gonna have somewhere to eat. And other than that, like no idea how we're going to sort everything, but literally brought some of the pantry. <laughs> we have our workout gear down there, the fat boy chair. Oh my God, like just the most random stuff that you just don't think you have to move and then it just takes up so much space when you're actually moving it. Anyway, so that's what we did tonight. We also brought all our frames. <laughs> uh, if you guys have been following along with our apartment adventures here in Toronto, we worked with Decenio when we first moved into our place in the old like version one of our living room we had a huge gallery wall and we partnered with Decenio for that and since then like any time there's been artwork in our house which has had many homes around we've made our own personal orders from Decenio since we actually updated a few of the prints in our office at one point this is the one if you guys saw the office tour video that was the one in there. Some of these have been in our bedroom. We wanted to do a big gallery wall in the studio and have it as a background option. But right when we were talking about doing that is when we decided to move. So we actually made another order and we're gonna see here now which prints we're gonna keep. Pardon you. <laughs> which prints we're gonna keep and which ones we're gonna use in various places around the house. Cause honestly, like until we get our actual like last shipment of our furniture moved. We're just gonna try and do everything we can until then. So, Decenio is very kindly sponsoring this portion of the video and continuing to work with us in our print dreams and our homes. So we're gonna sort through all our frames, unravel our latest shipment of prints, 
And if you guys like any of the prints that you see today or in the future as we decorate our place, by the time this video goes live, you can use the code ALANA30 for 30% off of your Decenio order. They have a ton of amazing prints. Um, they're a Scandinavian brand. They work with a ton of artists and the prints are just beautiful. They're really well priced. You can get 30% off with my code and they ship everywhere. Five day shipping if you live in the States. That's nice. <laughs> so if you guys wanted to use that code, I'll link the link in the description box down below. You have two days to use it and then it's done. Um, so if you wanted to get any fresh prints for your casa, then uh, now's the time to do it. So let's sort through the prints. So we've been really sad with our lack of travel. Dan and I love the beach and we definitely went like beach theme on these prints. <laughs> we had actually planned to use a couple of these in our bedroom and then we ordered a couple of, uh, you know, equally beachy themed prints to go into our future studio. So here's one of them. Look at that beautiful sunset ocean view. My God, palm trees, classic. Oh my God, this one makes me so happy. Oh, I didn't even know which way it goes. This way? It must be this way. Look at that. I can practically feel the water on my feet. Oh my word. Oh, this looks like Tulum. This looks like the beach club in Tulum. I feel like this one, this one and this one would be nice above our bed. They both the kind of matches, like the peach and the curtain that like goes with the peachiness on here. Oi. All right guys, so that's the set that we're envisioning for the bedroom. Nice beachy vibes. We have that kind of like rosy colored pink sheet. So I think it'll go really nicely. Um, don't mind me and my, my butter knife. Let us know what you think. Do you like this for above the bed? This little, this little set. Let us know your thoughts. We're back at the condo. All this driving back and forth, making me exhausted, man. Holy. I think we forgot to mention actually in the last vlog, we're moving like out of downtown, which is why we're able to get more space. And so now, right now, the drive back and forth has been, has been a lot. I literally can't hold this camera, it's so big. My arm is shaking. Guys, we're gonna go to bed. Good night. I can't hold the camera, I'll see you in the morning. <laughs> So we're returning it. <laughs> uh, yeah, we last checked in with you when we were setting up our sweet little frames. And it has been a few days since we vlogged last, but we are we are currently packing up the Besta to return it, which the amount of labor that Dan mainly put into this, for us to be returning it right now is a lot. <laughs> but we have found an alternative uh, totally on a whim which is actually what inspired the idea of, re of returning this. I would like to think of it as, as fate that we found the other option. That'll be delivered at a, at a later date, but until then we have to return the Besta. Bye Besta, you've been swell. But in the meantime, here's a look at the, at the place in the sunlight. Here's our sweet frames in the sunlight. The lone pillow, Dan in the sunlight. And let's go wait another two hours in the IQ lineup. <laughs> morning guys it is the next day <laughs> uh, i'm just having a little bit of a stretch right now before i go to f45 um we were in vancouver for a couple of weeks and i was doing f45 and ride and whatnot there and i was fine but for some reason i did just now like five classes in a row like five days in a row and my body just broke my body was like uh ma'am <laughs> you have been doing nothing why are you suddenly just going head first into some fitness. So yeah, I, I really did something weird to my shoulder, my right hip, and my right knee. So I've got my little, I don't even know what this is. I couldn't find my knee brace anywhere. Um, this has happened before. Fun little story about my knee. When I was in Venice, in Italy, um, I didn't want to pay for the water taxi that takes you from the, the train to like the other part of the, the city. And so I was like pulling my suitcases over all the little bridges and I fully popped my knee out. And for the three days that I was in Venice, my knee was like swollen, I couldn't walk, I had a knee brace. And ever since then, every once in a while, something 
tweaks in my knee and I just I always have a knee brace on hand that's why I'm like oh my god I can't find it I need to pick up another one today um, but yeah basically I'm old and I'm weak and my body is broken <laughs> anyway I woke up just wanting to have a little chat I feel I feel very stressed about the moving things I was really stressed about returning that Vesta thing yesterday I didn't know if it was gonna fit in our car it did thank goodness oh but um it was one of those things where you're just like why why did we do this <laughs> So today, I'll try to be better about vlogging because the last couple days, it's really just been little clips and snippets, but I'm going to 45 now. I've been trying to go to the 7.45 a.m. class each morning and then the 8.15 on the weekends. And honestly, it's like the perfect time. It's not, it's not too early that, you know, like I can go to bed at 11 and still get an eight hour sleep, you know? It's like a, it's like the perfect workout time for me. Anyway, so I'm gonna go to F45. I'm actually gonna film an Oma Beauty review video today which I'm excited about and then we'll probably just do more loads you can see we just have boxes of things piled all over our living room is slowly emptying it feels so weird but I don't really know what else to report but we'll see you later <laughs> So do we have a story for you? <laughs> Dan and I, we, we love to do the walk from like our place now and we would just walk to Liberty Village and back. We were just gonna do our little evening stroll to get our steps in for the day. And then like a cell came and it just started torrential downpouring. Like it was pouring rain. And so in Liberty Village, there's like a Starbucks, an EQ3, a West Elm, whatever. So we were like, oh, let's, let's try EQ3. Actually, Dan was like, let's go check out EQ3. I have been into an EQ3 like maybe twice in my life. Both times I was really unimpressed. I didn't like anything in there. So I literally said to Dan, I'm like, why don't we just go sit at Starbucks? Why are we gonna go into EQ3? We know we're not gonna like anything in there. And he's like, let's just go look. <laughs> I feel like it was fate because that was literally like the day after we had just built this or decided we were gonna return the Besta. We walked up the stairs in the EQ3 and in the like as is section, the clearance section, there was this set, this beautiful, my God, it's, it's a media cabinet, a coffee table and a side table. It literally, like I asked the salesperson if it was vintage, it looks like it's like straight out of the 70s. It is the most unique, beautiful piece that Dan and I have ever seen. We both looked at each other and we're like, oh yeah we're returning the best stuff and we're getting this. It was just something that, it was just a set that was perfect. It was seriously, it felt meant to be, it was seriously discounted because there's like, as a floor model, like there's a ton of scratches and dents and whatnot, but I don't care. It's, it's gorgeous. So this is what we have in the place now. And it, here's the thing, it happened so quick. Like we were looking for a coffee table. We'll actually show you guys later. Basically, I know I mentioned it briefly before, but this place is, is a really skinny rectangle and the place we have now, we didn't realize, but like with the indent where our TV is, it's actually so much wider than our new living room now. So um, like the shelves that we had behind our couch, the coffee table, our coffee table from Urban Barn was like massive and it just wouldn't fit here. And we would rather keep our beautiful giant bed couch instead of like the shelves and whatnot so we really had to adjust a lot of our furniture so anyway we had been looking for a new coffee table anyway i don't know this set just like screamed to us we're so happy with it and the nice thing is that unlike the very grayness of the best stuff um this like warmer wood actually matches the legs on our couch uh so it's just perfect it was just so meant to be and we're so happy and so yeah anyway sorry when we were looking for coffee tables, um, everywhere, like CB2, West Elm, uh, I can't remember where else we went. Everywhere was like, oh yeah, expect delivery end of September, mid-October, like four to six weeks to two months. Um, like no one had anything in stock. Everything was so far away. And EQ3 was like, oh yeah, we can ship it to you on Wednesday. Like they were so <laughs> quick. The guys, like we were so taken aback today, which is why, sorry, I'm literally playing catch up right now because the guys were supposed to come between two and five tonight and they called us at 11.30 and they're like, hey, like we can bring it to you now. 
<laughs> Dan, we're still downtown. We're like, oh God, <laughs> okay, well like, give us half an hour. It takes us half an hour to get there. We just pulled up to the place and their truck was out front. They brought, oh my God, they were so great. The EQ3, like the delivery was incredible. Um, we're really happy. This is great. I think the whole vibe in here with the warmer wood. Oh my God. Okay, I'll stop labbing. I'll show you guys the whole the whole set now i also want to mention that this is like the perfect in between size like our media cabinet that we have right now is probably to like here it was just too short for this space but then the besta like just filled that whole like it just really kind of dwarfed this wall whereas this like gives fred so much room to exist here and then we can still do like a lamp or something else here if we need it's so, oh my God, like doesn't this just look vintage to you? I think it's so cool. So then this is the matching coffee table, okay? Which as you can see by the mappings of our couch, like it just so perfectly fits into this little nook and it's so unique. It kind of looks like a sauna chair, <laughs> but I just think it's the coolest thing. It's so unique and I have my little bone tray like that I brought all the way from Vancouver that I'm gonna put in the middle here. Oh my God, I love it. And then this is the side table that goes with it. And we're actually waiting for another one of like these doors. And that will go right here, which kind of just completes the side table look. But, oh yeah, I think this just fills this room so much better. The color is perfect and it just feels unique. It just it was such a unique, beautiful, vintage feeling set and I am thrilled. Like literally they just dropped this in here and Dan and I were like, oh yeah, this is it. This is, what's nice too is like, these are very much forever pieces to me anyway. Like this, if anything was to scream my style, <laughs> this is it. So that is my hour long spiel on the updated living room situation. Can't wait. Don't mind my, holy, literally this is it with its own area codes. Celia has taken over, taken over the face. All right, well, we packed another load into the car, so we're gonna unload that now and, and continue on. I just need to express my joy because we filmed a video here today. I filmed my like go-to actual hot weather beach makeup elevated makeup, whatever. And it's the first video we filmed in the new place and I filmed it in the bathroom and I could literally cry. I am so happy to have natural light again. Like, oh, you guys, and I just went up and we took some pics out on the rooftop and I'm gonna go weep myself to joy. It's like, we just needed light so badly. Like that simple little thing is gonna just, I think change our like content making joy and the look of it so much. I'm so happy. Um, so I'm sorry that we have been useless with vlogging for the last few hours, but I mean mainly, the main thing was the update uh, <laughs> on the living room. And you guys will see the video I filmed on this on this look later in the week. I was, I mean, I'm honestly, Mount Vesuvius was okay. She was tamed a little bit. We had one tragedy befall us today. We were actually gonna vlog us putting the curtains up. We put all these stupid little things from Ikea for the tracks and uh, they don't work. <laughs> I don't know why, these were the only ones that were there at Ikea and so I don't know what kind of anomaly these stupid things are but for now everyone can just see us and we'll have to figure out the curtains at a later date. We're just gonna pack up, pack up the garbage, things like that, and we'll see you guys later at home. Bye. Take it personal, I ain't lying. I ain't hiding, I've been grinding, multiplying. Did you miss us? Wow. Don't mind this, this is her prayer. Hi, kitty. Hi, Meryl. Okay, so earlier this morning, a lot happened today. Listen, it's been another one of those days during this whole moving process that has seemed to never end. But Dan's sister and her roommate, um, well, Dan's sister moved here from Vancouver right like, like weeks before the lockdown happened. So <clears throat> she never really got to, well, to her wishes, I guess, like set up her place. 
And uh, so she actually took like most of the furniture that uh, doesn't fit in our new place and they came and, you know, got a U-Haul and took all the extra pieces out today. And it's so crazy what our place looks like without the shelves. And Dan and I were like smacking ourselves. Like, I can't believe we didn't live with this much space and openness the whole time. Um, Meryl loved the shelves. Meryl loved the jungle gym. But look at our living room without the shelves behind the couch. Look at how much space Fred has to thrive. It's so crazy. What a different, it feels like a different apartment. Um, so this is pretty much what our new place is gonna look like. We are, we're gonna try and find a second one to this. And then our couch, our beautiful, this is the Nixon sofa. Yeah, this is pretty much what it's gonna look like. Sweet Fred, all that. So anyway, I just thought I'd show you guys what it looks like without the shelves behind it. Don't mind me, I've just put a robe on because I'm freezing. Um, Dan has just made a pizza and we are going to use Genie the Genovese basil, which is burning. <laughs> She's too high, sorry. Ooh, here's an update. Our cilantro has begun. These two died, they, they rotted, um, but the cilantro is alive and well. Can't wait. Mesdames et messieurs, the pizza. Dinner is served. Well, folks, that's another load taken in. Um, oh my god, you guys, honestly, the, the flights of stairs in here. Well, if I don't get ripped legs, from living in this townhouse, I swear. <laughs> I want a refund. Hopefully now like that this next week's vlog will actually be living here. <laughs> we can resume normal life activity. The move will officially be over. So we can just start giving you guys home updates and you know, getting outside and doing some more summer activities, maybe going to a beach or something. Cause we still have yet to do that in Toronto and the weather's been stunning, so. Oh boy. Yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed this this last check-in. That's our update for now. I hope you're all having a beautiful week and we'll see you all next week when we're officially living in this new place. We'll see you guys on Wednesday for a new video. Hope you enjoyed this week's vlog and we'll talk to you soon. Bye!